G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying numbers around base 50. It's a way of mul mentally multiplying numbers in your head really, really rapidly, and these are numbers around 50. This is part three in a video series I've, I've been making um, where we're looking at a ways of multiplying numbers mentally using this idea of called the base method of multiplication. Okay, so I'll give you an example of what we have been looking at so far. Uh, where I would have got you, say, multiplying a number like, uh, what about we do 23 times uh, 21. Okay, nice easy one. And what we were doing with this is we were looking at a way of multiplying these. By the way, the links to these other videos I'll be putting up right now, just in case you want to go back and have a look at these, in case you haven't seen them. Um, but the way we were doing this is we are looking when we multiply these numbers, we're looking at where we use a third number, in this case the number 20, where we actually use this third number to make our multiplication simpler. Okay, 20 is a lot easier to multiply with than either 23 or 21 are. So I'll show you the way this works. So first off what we did is we consider these numbers according to the base. Okay, so this one is 3 more, and this one here was 1 more. Okay. And then what we did is we were adding across these numbers, okay, so what we were doing is say 21 plus 3 or 23 plus 1, and we get the answer 24, and then we were, in case you haven't noticed this by the way and you've seen these other videos, what essentially we've been doing is multiplying by this base, so 24, we were doubled it, okay, we got 48 times 10, which is 480, okay, and then what we're doing is we're adding this units part on, so 3 times 1 is 3, and we add this on and we're getting the answer of 483, okay? Now, again, what, if you hadn't noticed this, what we've been actually doing with our first part is we've been actually multiplying our number by the base. And this is going to become important now we start looking at base 50, okay? And I'll show you what I mean by this. So when we multiply numbers near 50. So I'll give you an example of what I mean by multiplying numbers near 50. Say we were to multiply two numbers, 51 times 53. And we decide, now we're going to use this base number of 50. Now, we're going to end up multiplying this, I'll, I'll show you in a second. So we first off, we'll consider our numbers compared to 50. Okay, so this is 1 more than 50, and this is 3 more than 50. You see that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to cross add what we've been doing in these other examples we were looking at earlier. So 51 plus 3 is 54. Okay, you've got that. I'm going to put that little 54 down there. But now what we're going to do to this is we're going to, as I was saying, we are actually going to multiply this number by 50. Now that's not necessarily, it's not that difficult, but there's actually an easy way of multiplying by 50 and that is this. The easiest way to multiply by 50 is not to multiply by 50, but instead to multiply by 100, and then halve your answer. Okay, so what we do with this is we multiply by 100, 5,400, then we halve our answer. Okay, so we get the answer of 2,700. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm going to rub that out, and I'm going to explain that again. Um, Alright, so you can get that. So 51 plus 53, we get the answer of 54. We times that number by 100. Okay, so 54 times 100 is 5400. Then we halve it and we get 2700. Okay, so we times it by 100 or, and then halve it. Or we might halve it and then times it by 100, it doesn't matter. Then what we do is to get our last part of the answer is we multiply these two guys. So 1 times 3 is 3. So we add that on because it's a positive thing. So 2700 plus 3, our answer, 2703. Okay? Now I'm going to go through a couple more examples of this. If you're finding this really ridiculous, you go, what's he talking about? You might want to have a look at these previous videos. Again, the link is coming up now. Alright? So, what about we do this sort of thing? Uh, we'll do the second one. We'll multiply 52 times 54. Okay, let's see how you go with this. All right, we're going to use the base 50 again because these numbers are close to 50. This is 2 more than 50. This one's 4 more than 50. I might even write this little 50 down here. 
Okay, so 52 plus 4 is 56. So 5,600. You divide that by 2, we get the answer of 2,800. Okay? 2,800, and then we multiply these two numbers. 4 times 2, we get 8. So we're going to add that on because it's a positive number. We get the answer 2,808. What you might want to start doing is you might want to actually start pausing the video and giving these a bit of a go as we're going along. Okay? Alright. So, let's have a look at another example of this. What about this time we do 52 times 57? Okay, we're going to use the base number of 50. Uh, okay, this is 2 more than 50. This is 7 more than 50. Now what we do is we added these two guys together. 52 plus 7 is 59. So we times this by 100, we get 5,900. 5,900, we halve that. Okay, we get the answer 2,000. 950. Okay. Now, what do we do? We multiply these two numbers. 2 times 7 is 14, and we add this 14 on. Okay. We get the answer 2,964. You will get faster and faster at these. Obviously, some are also going to be harder than others. Okay. It's just the nature of, of math sometimes. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Again, pause the video, give them a go. So let's have a look. This one's a bit of a different one. What about we do 52 times 48? Now, if you haven't seen one like this before, you might want to not pause it because this one's a little bit weird. We're going to use a base number of 50 again. Okay, so this is 2 more than 50. This one here is 2 less than 50. You'll see I've written it in a different colour. Okay, we treat this a little bit differently. So 52 take 2, or 48 plus 2, it gives us the answer of 50. We times that by 100, we get 5,000. We divide that by 2, we get 2,500. Okay, then we multiply these two numbers. Now, if we multiply a positive 2 and a negative 2 together, positive and times a negative, we're going to get a negative answer. So we're going to end up with a minus four. So our answer, we're taking four off this 2,500, we're going to get the answer 2,496. Okay, let's give you one more example, then I'll give you a whole bunch of uh, questions that you can, you can attempt yourself and see how you go. But again, you can pause these as you go along and I will end up working with these other, working through these other ones. So what about we do 41 times 56. We get again, we're using base 50. Okay, this one here is 9 less than 50. This one here is 6 more than 50. Okay, so 41 plus 6 is 47. We times that by 100, we get 4700. If we halve that, we get 2350. Okay, then 6 times 9 well, it's not 6 times 9, it's 6 times negative 9. So we're going to get the answer of negative 54. We take that off. Okay. 2,350 take away 54. We're going to get the answer of 2,296. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a bunch of examples to do by yourself. Hopefully you've gone really, really good with those. Uh, here's three examples to do by yourself. Um, okay, these are just going to be base level 50 ones. Um, and, and then we'll, I, I might even give you three more where I mix them up uh, based even on previous videos, okay? Where we use base level 10s, 20s, maybe 30s. So what about we do, uh, okay, just a couple of base level 50 ones first. What about, I'll put fi three of them down, 53 times 54. What about we do 53 times 48? What about we do 42 times 49? So pause the video, see how you go with these. Okay, hopefully you've done well. This one's 3 above 50. These are all base 51, so this is a base 50. This is 3 above 50. This one's 4 above 50. 53 plus 4. 
is 57 okay this is 5700 we halve it we get 2850 and then 4 times 3 is 12 we add that on we get the answer of 2862 Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Hopefully you did well on that one. We are using base 50 again. We're 3 above 50. In the next 48, we are 2 below 50. So what we do is 53 take 2 is 51. 5100, we halve that. We get 2550. And then what we do is we multiply minus 2 times 3. Where we get minus 3. 6. So we're taking 6 off our answer. Hopefully, hopefully you're going to get the answer of 2,544. Pretty good, right? Hopefully you did good on that. Did you, did you not fall for that little minus thing there? Hopefully not. Okay, the next one's another uh, one where we're using a base 50 again, obviously. This one here is um, 8 below 50. This one here is 1 below 50. So, 42 take away 1 is 41. We times that by 100, we get 4,100. 4, we halve that, we get 2,050. 2,050, and we are going to now look at minus 8 times minus 1. Two negative numbers together, we're going to get a positive number. So, minus 8 times minus 1 is plus 8. So, we get the answer of 2,058. Now, hopefully you've done really good on those, okay? This is the next step up from what we have been looking at. So if you're struggling with these, you might want to go back and have a look at these earlier videos, these ones that keep popping up where I keep putting little links going back to those, okay? But this is a really great method. I'll tell you what, now I'm going to give you a whole mixture of these, okay? Uh, hopefully you go really good with them. So what about we uh, mix a few up and I give you just some pretty random ones, uh, of ones that we've covered already in the first three videos of this series. Uh, what about we do uh, 21 times 17? You might use a base mm, 20 for that one. What about we do 32 times uh, 22? What about we do 53 times uh, 48? Okay, nothing too taxing at the moment. Okay, pause the video, see how you go with these. Okay, so how did you go with those? Anyway, let's go through a few answers here. So we've got some different bases we're going to be using with a few of these. So, anyway, let's have a look. Uh, first off, uh, we had this one here, 21 times 17. Now look, I'd be using the base 20 for that, I reckon. Um, because 20 is a nice central number between these. So let's consider it using base 20. If we can think about this base 20, this is going to be 1 more than 20. This one here is actually 3 less than 20. So 21 take away 3, or 17 plus 1 is 18. And then what do we have to do to our answer? We have to double it and then times it by 10, because we have to times it by the base then, okay? So 18, double it, we get 36, so 360. And 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. So hopefully you got the answer of 357. Cool. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. What base did you use for that one? You could have used 20. You could have used 30. Uh, look, I'm half tempted with this one. I might use 30, I reckon. Okay. Um, but 20 would be equally as good. So this one is two more than 30. This one here is eight less than 30. So let's consider this now. What do we have? We have 22 plus two is 24. So we're going to times that by the base again. So 24 and the times are 30. We're going to get 24, 48, 72. So 720. 720. And we're going to have to take what number off that? Because it's a minus and a, minus and a plus. We're going to take 16 off. So hopefully the answer that you got was 704. Okay, the last one. Hey, of course we're going to use base 50 for this one. Alright, this one's 3 more than 50. This one, 2 less than 50. Okay, 
So let's work this out now. Uh, so 53 take 2. 53 take 2 is 51. So 5100, 5100. And half of that is 2550. And we're going to end up with a minus number here. Minus 2 take, uh, times 3 is minus 6. So hopefully the answer you're going to get is 2,544. How did you go with those? Pretty good. Again, if you're struggling, practice lots with these. You will get better and better and better. And it is okay to make little mistakes. Just try to work out where you got, went wrong with them. Okay. Now look, in the last of these videos, I'm going to start having a look at, or in the next one of these videos, I'm going to start having a look at where we use base level 100. And the good news is, base level 100 is really easy. Okay. So stay tuned for that one. Click on to the next link. I'll see you then.